I would like to introduce, may we call on Mr. John Schreiner, Senior Vice President for Theater Development of IMAX, to explain to us why IMAX Laser is the best movie experience. So let's all give him a round of applause. Great, thank you. And uh, thank you to uh, the team at, uh, at Vista Cinemas. Uh, as you can see, the cinema is beautiful. They've done an amazing job in terms of the development of the, uh, the complex. And what I love about the cinema is, in particular, is that it's dark. Uh, and the reason why um, a dark cinema is good is that it's very, very uh, good for 3D. Uh, there's not a lot of light that reflects from the walls and what have you, so it's a really good cinema especially C3D. So what I want to do today is uh, tell you a little bit about IMAX. Um, I'm sure you guys know a little bit, but I want to tell you a little bit more. But I want to talk to you about um, the technology um, and why IMAX laser is... Uh, is, is IMAX is laser! And, uh, and, and why this is a special viewing experience. Um, so in terms of like getting onto the first slide, um, IMAX, to give you background on our company, IMAX is a 50-year-old company. Um, it's basically our, our 50th anniversary, I guess it was our 50th anniversary last year. Um, we're a global company. Uh, we've been, uh, we've got offices um, here in Manila, um, in Shanghai, uh, Moscow, where I'm based. Uh, we've got offices in London, New York, uh, Toronto, and Los Angeles. Um, all to service um, a growing network. We operate in 74 countries around the world. Um, and uh, with all the top cinema players, uh, we're located in all the top cinemas um, um, on a global basis. Um, so just, you know, kind of, we take really pr a lot of pride in, uh, in sort of the um, milestones that we've achieved over, over the last few years, and, and, and we've got a long history of documentaries and being involved in museums and what have you, but what I'd like to kind of uh, point out is that Kind of the modern history of IMAX, I think, really started in 2003 when we started to do um, uh, Hollywood film products. Um, we were bringing movies like The Matrix and The Polar Express and The Dark Knight to sort of the, the IMAX world, and that's when IMAX really started to grow. Um, you know, and I think, um, you know, really 2018 um, is kind of a, a watershed. You know, we spent a lot of time developing our laser technology. Laser. Um, and now we have it in a, in, a, in a beautiful little package that we call IMAX of Laser. Um, and it's uh, designed for the multiplex environment. Um, so moving on to the, the next slide here. What kind of makes IMAX special is not just one thing. Um, it's, a, it's a combination of things where where we work with film producers, um, uh, we work with the studios, we start off at the very early stage on the content side, uh, we bring um, IMAX, uh, you know, unique versions of IMAX film into you know, a uniquely designed auditorium like this, um, and we screen it with unique IMAX technology. Um, so it's, it's quite a long, um, involved, sort of almost like a closed loop ecosystem. Um, in order to provide uh, the moviegoers with the best possible experience. Um, so, you know, in terms of our worldwide network, as I mentioned earlier, um, we're a fast-growing uh, company in the cinema business. Uh, we have 74 countries that we operate in. Uh, we have over 1,400 theaters operating, and we have um, an over 500 theaters under development. Um, so we're continuing to grow. There's going to be you know, well over 2,000 theaters um, in the coming years, and uh, it really provides Hollywood uh, with, um, and a lot of local film um, makers as well, uh, with a unique opportunity uh, and a unique sort of distribution platform uh, for amazing uh, technology, for amazing uh, film product. So where IMAX is located, um, as I mentioned earlier, we're in some of the top cinemas in, in the world, um, but we're in some of the most iconic locations. Um, we're in, as you see here, we're in Los Angeles at the TCL IMAX, which is where um, you know, a lot of the Hollywood film um, uh, premieres take place. We were in, um, you'll see shortly, uh, uh, theater in Berlin, you'll see a theater in uh, Leicester Square in London, 
And these are all Lice. iconic, iconic Lice. theaters. Lice. So I wanted to kind of point that out to you today because I, I feel that, uh, you know, this cinema um, is taking the place of a, of a new future iconic cinema here in uh, Manila, um, a place where uh, premieres and, um, you know, the place to be seen in terms of, uh, you know, when you want to really show off uh, the film that you're um, either involved in or you want to see. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, where IMAX really sort of, uh, why IMAX is really special or sort of almost like our special secret ingredient, it's their relationship with the filmmakers. So filmmakers like Christopher Nolan, Michael Bay, um, Michael Bay, J.J. Abrams, um, and even James Wan, who's coming out with Aquaman. Um, Aquaman! You know, the people who did Fantastic Beasts. Uh, they're all big fans of the IMAX experience, and they all want to do something special with the technology to make it, you know, to make their films unique, and to make their film, to make IMAX theaters like the place to see what their artistic vision was. Um, so, you know, these filmmakers behind have used um, IMAX cameras, some extremely extensively. Um, you know, the recent uh, Avengers movie and the upcoming Avengers movie next year was completely shot with IMAX digital cameras, and it really makes a difference uh, in, the, in the quality of the movie um, and the movie experience. Um, as you can see behind me, these are just some of the examples of, uh, of films which uh, have used IMAX cameras. Um, there's and a lot of movies that we've got coming up and that we've had uh, this year have something that we call IMAX DNA. Um, what is IMAX what DNA? What we mean by that is something that uh, is something that the filmmakers have done special and unique um, to make uh, the film just unique in the IMAX experience. So the recent Fantastic Beasts, for example, had unique 3D experiences where the actual um, and I don't know if you managed to see the movie in this auditorium, but the 3D actually really popped out of the screen uh, because they did that especially for the IMAX version. IMAX DNA? Um, in terms of sort of IMAX content differentiation, sort of the DNA uh, that I was talking about, um, when, uh, you know, when we get a film, whether or not it's been shot with IMAX cameras or shot with a digital camera or shot with film cameras, Every, no matter what, we take it and we run it through uh, something we call IMAX Digital Root Mastering, so IMAX DMR. Um, and what the process does is it cleans up every single frame. It makes the images sharper, clearer, crisper, um, so that when you're watching a movie, um, you can see details that you can't see anywhere else. Um, I remember the first time I actually noticed it was actually on the first Matrix movie, so it kind of shows you how long um, I've been working for IMAX for. But I remember like watching the scene and looking at the actor seeing his contact lenses, and I'm like, "Holy smokes! I've never seen that amount of detail Holy smokes. in a movie." Um, and it just kind of goes to show that uh, the technology um, is really powerful. So we've actually, um, I think, we're on the third uh, sort of version, the third generation of this technology. We continue to improve it. We continue to make the uh, the images that uh, you see on screen even even better. So then what we do when we get this technology, when we get the, the content from um, the Hollywood studios, um, and we make it special, we remaster it, we bring it into the unique IMAX sort of environment. And what's special about it is the geometry and how we design theaters. Um, so why you feel so immersive um, in an IMAX theater, so immersed in an IMAX theater, is that the screen is closer to you um, and your relationship between the screen is, is such that all you see is screen. So you feel um, right in the movie. Um, and um, it just, it's something called a viewing angle. It's just a geom geometric trick at the end of the day, but we've designed our theaters, we've designed our special lenses um, to allow you to watch an image um, in this sort of immersive format. Um, and the next thing that we do um, is we should be sound is next. Um, oh, actually, sorry. Um, this is laser. And what we're going to be talking about today, a lot actually, before I get into sound, is um, we project, project the images on screen with the special technology. 
which is IMAX with laser. Um, and why we developed the laser system um, is that we, we started off, we had a problem. Um, so we had, around the world, we had about 100 museums um, with IMAX here, sort of institutional the theaters, which are all film-based. Here we go. And, and the IMAX film, and just film in general, uh, was starting to go away. It was starting to become very expensive, um, not only to run the projectors uh, with these films, but just to get the film prints.